Hi, I'm Dr. Laurel Morton from Skin Care Physicians. We all know that video healthcare visits have become essential during this COVID-19 crisis. As dermatologists, we enjoy connecting with our patients digitally, but it doesn't allow us to evaluate their skin as well as we would during an in-person visit. That's why photographs are essential in allowing us to provide an accurate diagnosis and a good treatment plan. We ask our patients to take these photographs before their scheduled visit and send them to us ahead of time. I'm gonna provide a brief tutorial on how to take the best photographs before your visit. Make sure you're in a brightly lit area. Next, we're gonna ask you to take three types of photographs. The first photograph is gonna be a close-up of your area of concern, whether that's a mole, a rash, or even acne. You can see here, I've drawn a suspicious lesion on my leg. The first image, like I said, should be a close-up. This should be in as much focus as possible. Ways to focus your camera include tapping on the image of concern. Sometimes pulling the camera back slightly can help your camera focus. And as you can see here, I've drawn a darkly colored arrow pointing to the area. This helps us identify which area you're concerned about, but also provides contrast for your camera to focus. Finally, we recommend that you do not try to zoom in on the image as sometimes this uh, creates less focus in the image. The second photograph should be taken from further away. We call this the forest image. It allows us to see the area of concern in context with another part of your body. And the third image that we ask you to take is from the side. This lesion happens to be flat, but if it was elevated, it would allow us to see the elevation and to see the texture. One thing to keep in mind when you're doing these photographs is if someone else can take them for you, that is preferred. The camera that's on the back side of uh, your phone is often of better quality than that which is on the front that we often use to take selfies. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you have multiple areas of involvement on your body for say a rash or acne, it can be really helpful for us to see those multiple sites in photographs. It helps us to put the entire issue into context. And finally, we ask patients to review their images before they send them to us. If you find them blurry, then we'll probably find them blurry as well. I hope this is helpful in allowing you to take photographs before your visit. If you have any questions about our teledermatology program at Skincare Physicians, please contact us.